Hi, so is this the future of deep faking? Deep faking used to involve hours, days, weeks, dare I say months, years is overstating it, of training a model on thousands of high resolution images to get a deep fake that looked decent. And sometimes they didn't even look decent after that. Hours and hours and hours of heated computer fans blowing in my face. I've been down this road, my friends. But what I just showed you, that mere little snippet, was done with one photograph. It's a program called Face Fusion. I'm gonna link in the description how you can go get it, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. So as you can see here, I have switched out my face for Harrison Ford's based on this picture right here that is took from the internet and dragged right there and dropped. And it does a fantastic job with just one image and even covers various angles. So whatever it's doing, the technology the, that is working is much different than what we previously used for face swapping. It had very little movement before things started to tear and not look realistic. But this, as you can see, is looking pretty good. So let's do a couple more. We just go and we will search for Robert Downey Jr. Why not? So we just choose a picture that has the look that we want to use, obviously. It's pretty generic Robert Downey Jr. Drop that right in there. And there you go. Looking around, pretty good. And the delay is not that bad. Now you'll notice if you look over here to the left of the screen, you'll see that I'm running my webcam at 320 by 240. This is about 20 frames per second. And I can play with popping it up and get smoother video, but then the delay is more. So this is pretty close to real time. Look, I can get right up in there, right up in there. And I can get way back here. I can play around, I can move pretty solid. How about Steve Martin? Yeah, this is like the jerk era. Get away from the cans. Go back and get more recent Steve. We'll see what it does. It's okay. Let's do something more obscure. How about Mickey Rourke from back in the day, right? This is exactly what I'm looking for. Let's see what we got. There you go. Sure makes me want to clone all these people's voices for entertainment purposes only. Speaking of diner, well, Steve Gutenberg, why not? We'll get some, some classic, yeah, there you go. That's maybe a little older than three minutes, baby. I think it's there. Mm -hmm. I think it's there. It's just maybe a little thinner. How about some Steve job? Doesn't really work for my face shape. Jeff Bridges. Yep, got the beard out a little bit more and put on a bathrobe. I'd almost be the, although the dude is actually much younger than this. This is, this is post dude. Jeff for sure. Maybe a Liam Neeson and we'll wrap it up. Don't know who you are. And I don't know what you want. If it's money you're after, I can tell you I haven't got any. But what I do have are a particular set of skills. What would it do if I put a woman in there? It would swap the face out. What do you think? It's a face swapping software, but shall we try it? But with who? We could go with an obvious Scarlett Johansson. But you have to imagine different hair. Now, I just don't think it's going to work. Not with this picture anyway. We can try one more. It's a little better. A little better but you got to do the whole thing she would never wear her hair like this and i don't think this shirt would look very good on her at all so what do you think cool scary invasive mm, i don't know but in the meantime i'm gonna keep playing with it how about you